As a hotel, resort, bed and breakfast, etc., owner, manager, your goals are to operate at a profit and keep your guests and employees happy and safe. To achieve the last goal, it is imperative to boost security at your hospitality property. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and make sure to hit the little bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. You won't want to miss anything I designed especially for you. Trying to make sure your guests have an enjoyable and worry-free stay at your property comes with its own share of challenges. From making sure it's safe from viruses, to hiring great employees to help you operate it, to verifying that the breakfast buffet is ready on time, you regularly have your work cut out for you. One issue that often arises for many hotel, resort, bed and breakfast, etc. owners and managers is the question of security. It's a common misconception that only lower star properties labor with these types of issues. But this could not be further from the truth. Even higher end properties can encounter problems like petty theft, unpleasant parties lurking outdoors, and rowdy guests getting into trouble. If you want to improve the safety and security of your property without alarming your guests or invest in methods that don't work, then these seven measures can help you gain the peace of mind you deserve. Compassion matters. One of the most effective ways to help booster security at your hospitality property is by spreading a little bit of human compassion. This works in two ways. For starter, one of the biggest security issues that many hospitality property owners and managers face is employee theft. It's very easy for an unhappy employee to pocket things that aren't theirs or to lie on the reported hours during a work shift. By treating your staff with compassion, you can help reduce the chance that they'll steal from you or your property and your guests. It's no secret that providing an exceptional experience is the corner store for making them want to return. However, this very same customer service allows your staff to keep tabs on your guests as they come and go. This sends a subtle message that we're aware of you and your activities and gives your employees the ability to identify any odd behaviors. Continue reading and I'll share six more verified techniques to boost security at your hospitality property. Right after a word from our sponsor. Question for hotel, resort, inn, bed and breakfast, etc. owners and managers. What if knowing how to open your hospitality property doors post COVID-19 and giving your guests such a safe and amazing experience that they will not only want to return, but will rave to their friends, family, and colleagues about how great your place is was as easy as cooking. Sound weird? Let me explain. What would you do if you wanted to cook a delicious meal? Instead of mixing up random ingredients, it might be edible, I'd follow this three-step process. One, choose a recipe and prepare my food following the recipe. Two, spice it up, make it taste better. Three, enjoy the meal. Done. No rocket science. It's the same with reopening your hospitality property using the post-COVID-19 action plan. No guessing, no testing, no wasted time. Just follow the proven recipe and make your property cook. To make your guests experience appetizing, follow these three steps. One, pick a recipe. Watch the video series. Two, spice it up. Use the workbook and answer the quiz to make it yummy. Three, enjoy the results. That's it. Click the link for more information and happy cooking. P.S. For all hospitality property owners and managers who feel their only choice is to open their doors and hope guests return, take away the guesswork and use the post-COVID-19 action plan. Make it happen. Before the break, I said I would share six more verified techniques to boost security at your hospitality property. Locking non-designated areas. Like any hospitality property, 
Yours probably has designated guest areas, as well as areas that are shut off to the public, such as supply closets, kitchens, employee break rooms, and other guest accommodations. The last thing you want are guests rummaging around where they don't belong, giving them access to expensive equipment and inventory. Instead, find ways to gently restrict access. For example, by using access control solutions with keypad locks. More thorough check-ins. You have the right to know who's staying at your property. And one way to do this is by being careful in the check-in and registration process. Best practice is to ensure staff fill out the information contained in registration forms themselves by asking relative questions. Ask for several pieces of ID from each guest. Ask questions about the number of people staying in the room and potential visitors. Check license plate numbers. In addition to this, keep easily accessible records, introduce more secure payment systems, and ensure data protection policies are adhered to. The importance of appearances. It has been said that one should never judge a book by its cover, but as humans, it's our nature to do so. This is also true for your property and failing to meet appearance expectations can be incredibly detrimental to your business. The broken window theory rings true here, and if you have a lawn that is unmaintained or spray paint tagging on the walls, it could invite future trouble from dishonest people. Bright lighting in the parking lots and by the entryways, painting, gardening, and cleaning up litter from your property sends a message to potential transgressors. Additionally, a well-maintained exterior also improves client perception of your establishment. Do these make sense so far? Let me know in the comments. Security guards. Security guards can be an incredible way to help keep your property secure and free from theft, crime, and overall disorderliness. The simple act of placing a uniform party at the doorway can be enough to cause would-be criminals to hesitate. Security guards don't tend to alarm guests. Instead, it often helps them feel more confident about being protected during their stay, allowing them to relax and focus on enjoying their stay at your property. Lighting in your property. I mentioned earlier that bright lighting in parking lots and by the entryways can go a long way in discouraging criminal activity. This also goes for any isolated spaces or dimly lit hallways and alleys within your property. Make sure light bulbs are checked on a regular basis and replaced when broken, or even improving your property's lighting systems. Personal panic buttons. Delivering a fast response when employees or guests are in danger is key to delivering effective help or stopping incidents escalating. Personal panic buttons offer this type of functionality providing an inconspicuous safety net for employees in trouble and allowing them to alert security if guests are in danger without also placing themselves in harm's way. If you are a member of the Hospitality Property School Group, as a bonus, I'm going to share six more ways to boost security at your hospitality property. In conclusion, for hoteliers and innkeepers, improving hospitality property security and subsequently safety is an element of management that cannot be overlooked, especially with today's labor shortage. The good news is that this can be achieved with a few simple changes and the introduction of market-ready technologies. While springing for extra training, security personnel, or even heavy-duty locks can come with an initial setup fee, it'll be more than worth it once you see how effective they are in safeguarding your property. And in turn, you can worry less about these concerns and more about the things that truly matter to you. We cover more on customer service and employee training in the Guide to Owning and Operating a Hospitality Property Successfully book and course. You can find more information at keystonehpd.com. What have you done to boost security at your hospitality property? Let me know in the comments. You're going to have access to this episode for the next six weeks and then we're going to lock it away in the vault for hospitality property school group members only. If you would like to see what you would have access to as a member of the hospitality property school group, check out the short video in this episode post show notes.
In the next episode, I will talk about things that will hurt your productivity. That is it for today's episode. Until next time, have a fun day. If you have not done so yet, make sure you sign up for Insider Tips. You can find a link in the show notes.